how to create a graphic design portfolio online. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own graphic design portfolio online. So let's get into it. Now, what is a portfolio and how do you create an online portfolio? Well, it's pretty simple. Graphic design is all related to uh, being digital and you need a digital portfolio to display your work. And a portfolio is basically a place where people can view all of the work that you have done, what kind of work that you do, what is what are your specialities, all that good stuff. All of that could be found within your portfolio. So for graphic designers, what I recommend is Behance.net. Now, Behance is a great, great platform for for you to display your artwork and your different kinds of graphic illustrations, graphic GIFs, whatever you do in graphic designing, you can display all of that on Behance and use this form as a portfolio. So you can see over here, if you go on to Behance.net, you have all of these different design portfolios in front of you. You can search for different kind of creative work that you're looking for, and you can create your own portfolio. So to get started with creating our own portfolio, you're just going to click on sign up over here at the top right. And then we are just going to go and sign up with our Adobe ID. So over here, you can sign up or create your account with your Facebook account, with your Apple account, or with your Google account, or you can even sign up with your own email. So I'm just going to continue on with my Facebook account and sign up to Behance to start creating my own little um, portfolio. So right here, I have logged on with my uh, Facebook account and you can see I have just logged on. And now what I can do is I can click on over here on my share your work section and then i have three basic streams that i can go for so i have my share your work section i can add content in the forms of images text photo grids uh, audio or video embed some code i could add lightroom photos i could add nfts prototypes 3d illustrations or i can even edit my own projects and you can create projects in various ways so you can build a complete project you can have a work in progress that is going to be uh, a 24-hour post it's like an instagram story or a snapchat story where after 24 hours uh, it will be removed from your profile but it will like show people that you're constantly working and you are still in the game or in the loop and now what we're going to do to start building our portfolio is we're just going to build our first project and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some text so i would like to add um first project obviously you're not going to name your project first project you want to save it as something else you want to add something a bit more creative and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag an image and i'm going to click on image so I want to add an image onto my little portfolio. So I'm just going to go into my downloads. I hope I have something downloaded. And I'm just going to use this image like this. And I'm just going to click on continue. So now I have to give my project a title. So I could just give this project sample project. I'm going to give that title. So this is just my sample project. Then I'm going to add my project tag. So you can add any as many keywords as you want. So I'm going to do heart. I'm going to add cat. And you want to make sure that your tags are accurate. So we're just going to add all our tags. We're going to add stickers. Uh, yeah, I think that's around uh, good enough. So you don't want to overload on the project tags, but you do want to add as many accurate ones as you can so i have birds i have hearts i have a cake i have a coffee mug so i should add those tags as well if i want to or if you want to but make sure you're not overloading on tags because on a platform like behance you don't want to be overloading on tags you don't want to seem spammy like you would on pinterest or any other platform because although this is like a pretty popular platform it is not as saturated as you would think so you want to make sure that you're not seeming like you're you know faking it or doing something like that so after you have added your project Project tags you're going to scroll down and you're going to be able to see what we would categorize this project as so if it's graphic design illustration photography and then they have all these different fields so you can see that there are a lot of different fields uh, there's a lot of detail and you can really classify your work accurately i'm just going to uh, classify this as graphic design and then after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the visibility to everyone you can also set private posts and then later on once you have perfected them you can make them public as well and then you can also take this if your project contains adult content or not and if you have some co-owners if you have to give someone credits for your project then you can add that as well and you can add them the 
co-owner section over here so you can tag them or tag their Behance profile. Now after that I'm just going to click on publish over here and this is how easily you're going to be able to create your portfolio and build your portfolio on Behance as a graphic designer. So you can see over here I have this basic little project and this is just my sample project and you can see the comment section as well. You have the creative field, you have the tags, they have the likes, comments, and views. And now if I go onto my profile and if I go onto my Behance profile, so you can see now this is my what my Behance profile is looking like currently and what you're going to do to customize and create your graphic design portfolio is that you want to make sure that your profile picture and your banner image are very very good so because you are doing a graphic design you want to make sure that you're illustrating your best work within your profile and within your uh, banner image because everyone that is going to visit your profile is going to be judging you based on the art that you use for yourself and the art that you use for yourself is definitely uh, supposed to be the highest or the best in quality and then after that you can see i just uploaded this so i have my work section and i have nfts i have live streams mood boards appreciations insights and drafts so within your insights you're going to be able to see all of your project views all of your appreciations and all of your comments and then you also have your draft section where you can see your drafts and work on your graphic design uh, graphic design projects on behance as you go now, what you can do to further, you know, elaborate on your Behance portfolio is that you can go on to canva.com and of course, if you're a graphic designer and you have a lot of work experience, you can obviously post that over here. But if you want to design something very custom and if you're not really that good at graphic design and you're just starting this out, you're starting this out as a passion project or any other kind of project that you want to do, then you can just go on to canva.com and then you can just click on over here. I have signed on to my Canva account, but you can sign on with your own Gmail account and then you can just go into custom size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a banner image so you can see the optimal dimensions which is 3200 by 410 so i'm just going to do that i'm going to do 3200 by 410 and i'm going to click on create new design and i'm just going to design a simple little banner to post on my behance portfolio so i'm just going to go and you want to make sure that when you add your profile you click on edit your profile over here and you add as much of your occupations your company your location uh all of your web addresses as well your about me section you want to add like a good description about me so you can add your section titled uh, my art journey instead of just writing about me you could add my art journey and then you could write about how you began doing graphic design or whatever kind of design portfolio that you're looking to create so you can add i started drawing when i was four or whatever you know you're going to add your own kind of story and then you also have your work experience so you can add that as well and any kind of links to your work as well so you want to add all of that as well and i'm just going to go back onto my canva and i'm going to start designing my banner so you can see i'm also getting some templates on my left side but i'm just going to take this banner i'm going to select it and i'm going to give it like a black color and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the element section and I just want to create like a portfolio banner. So I'm going to go into my profile and see, I want to create like a pink and, you know, a pink kind of aesthetic kind of banner. So I'm going to search for pink sparkles. So I'm just going to search for pink sparkles over here. And what I'm going to do, these look pretty cute. So I'm just going to add a bunch of these like so, and I'm going to add this little line and what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to rotate it like this or actually i'm just going to remove it i think it's going to be, look a bit overbearing i'm just going to add these cute little designs and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add as many sparkles as i can just to fit them all out in my portfolio just to you know make it look cute like this and i'm gonna add some hearts or just some simpler sparkles so i'm just gonna keep on scrolling and i'm gonna go into the graphic section on canva and i'm gonna use one of these little cute graphics so i'm just searching for you know stuff that i really like stuff that i find cute or pretty i'm gonna use these maybe not these ones i think these look a bit out of touch I'm just going to control C and control V, add this, and I'm just looking for some more designs. And what I'm going to do now after adding these sparkles, I'm going to go into the text section and I'm just going to write 
in this kind of text font so i'm using one of their font combinations or i'm going to use the other font combination to make it look a bit more girly girlesque so i'm just going to take this font combo and i'm going to write jane's portfolio and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to expand the text so i'm going to click on these three dots and i'm going to click on ungroup so the text is ungrouped and i'm going to drag this over here expand this i'm going to make sure there are no spaces and i'm going to remove the exclamation mark and i'm going to change the color so i'm going to go into the effect section and what i'm going to do is I'm going to click on animate. No, I'm not going to animate the text. I'm going to take a look at the design. So I'm just going to place it like so. I'm, and I'm going to place a heart right over here. And I'm just going to go into the colors. And I'm going to change the color to pink like so. And I'm going to go into the effect section. And I'm going to take the effect color and change it to a different shade of pink. I'm going to make like the effect color white. Yeah, that looks cute. It looks a bit interesting, so I'm just going to make the effect color white. And I'm going to place this right over here, like so. And I'm going to take that heart. I'm going to just take that heart. And I'm going to place this right at the center. And just like this, I have this cute little banner design. And now I'm just going to download my banner. And I will upload it onto my Behance profile. So this is how easy it is to create your portfolio online. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video.